Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of the Juventus career mode. Uh, so let's get right into it. I'm actually, I won't do the budget increase and I won't do any of those just for an unfair advantage. Obviously, we're going with Juventus. One. We'll just do a dumb name and red country. Let's go Portugal then. Alright, then we'll move on. We'll play it on legendary. Um, just because the other ones aren't difficult enough, not much of a challenge, we'll change that to Euros. Also, with the squads used, I'm doing current customised just because I don't agree with a few of the ratings. So, for example, Strakosha, he's been a starter for Lazio for over a year and he's 75 rated, but Machetti, who's been injured and doesn't play, doesn't start, he's 80 rated. So, I've brought Machetti down to 78 and I've brought Strakosha up to 80 or 81. So it just makes it more fair and more realistic, honestly. Um, I've also boosted some pace from some centre backs just because, for example, Varane in FIFA's got 70 odd pace, but he's faster than Ronaldo and Messi. So it's just, yeah, it's not very fair. So I've just changed those around and let's get started. Also, we are going to be doing pre-season, not for the money, just so I can test out the squad, change anything if I don't like it, and also do some transfers. Um, okay. I'll probably do the Agent Elite Cup, just because there's better competition, better teams, better quality, more things to test out, obviously. Two seasons have at least one player from the youth academy signed in the first season to play at least 50%. I can see that we could we could probably do that if we get a good goalkeeper with Buffon really declining. Uh, that's reasonable. Shirt sales, yeah, I think we can do that if we get a big signing and also we have a few good players. Champions Cup, I think we can win the cup. It just depends on injuries. I believe we can win the Copa Nationale and the Serie A we should be able to win the league title. Uh, Napoli's looking pretty dangerous but we'll see how they go throughout the season and no financial so we can spend whatever we want. So we'll be the first scout report. So we're just promising youngsters so we'll leave that. Also I am going to be doing training just because it's part of the game. I'm going to use it to boost some stats. So, boost edition. Mm -hmm. Boost Rugani as well, just because we'll have to integrate him as Buzz Ugly declines. Batanka, I feel he's definitely going to have a place in the rotation. So, we're pretty stacked with wingers. I honestly think. I'm, I don't want to offload Quadrado. I don't really want to get rid of Costa's low in case he does perform really well with us and he's a five star skiller. I might send Chaka off on loan because I do have a place for Bernadeschi in our team. So now I'll just I'll just I'll train him for now, but. He might be going out on I think I will add him to the loan list just because I might bring in a top player obviously for the career mode to shake it up a bit but I will try to keep it realistic um, so I'll just bring it forward another day just so I can get double dose of training Also guys, I'm going to be simulating all of them just because if I play them one get A's every week, it's not very fair, it does become pretty OP, it's just easier if I just simulate it. 
for that. So I'll probably get rid of Mansu Hitch. I'll pop Costa on the wing. I will play Varzagli as a starting centre back over Regani unless I have to. Integrate Marquisio back into the squad. So I want to play Rich Steiner, but he is getting older and it does cut out of development for Siglio. But then again, if I put Siglio up into the first team, Lich Steiner's going to be beating around the second team and then he gets a bit finicky on playtime. Um, Asimar, he tries his best, but I can't see him being more than a rotation, honestly. Um, Howard Ayers will get a run out of the team. He has played right back a bit in real life, so I might chuck him in there, see if his see if his defensive positioning makes up for his lack of pace. But for the midfield at the moment, I'm actually probably going to throw in Marquisio instead of Kadira. And I know I should probably play Matuidi over Pjanic, but at the moment, with, Di with Dybala being more of a cam, if he doesn't work out there, I'll switch up the formation, I'll make a two strike formation between these two, because it works in real life, it should work in the game. So, and also, I'm going to go into the squad hub, I am going to get rid of some of the release clauses. Um, just for players that I really don't want to go. Like Lich Steiner, he's on one year in his contract. If someone gave me 14 million, I could find a decent replacement for that money anyway. We've got a few loanees that I probably won't bring back from loan unless someone gets injured just because I don't want to stop their growth. Um, right, yeah. I do not want to let Alexandro go no matter what. Um, we made it pretty clear in real life as a team that when I'm going to let him go, let's see, asks. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna skip through this to make it quicker, just because I, I feel like we should move on, and I don't want to cut out the stuff that you guys want to see in the gameplay and the transfers. All right, no release forms. Okay, that seems fair. We've, we've, we've got enough money. I'm happy to give him that. So I do have a lot of depth, uh, depth if I bring back a lot of the low knees, but as I said, I'm not really looking to do that. But this is good, we haven't really got many release clauses. Dabala hasn't got one, so I'm happy. Alright, that's perfect. Let's see what the scouts have got for us. Oh, also, I will set up the scouts. I'm not going to go crazy for the scouts, I'll just set up one in Italy. I don't want it to be a full youth squad within a season. Just because, let's face it, the youth stuff is, everything to do with youth is youth generally overpowered. You will get, you will get some world beaters by the time they're 19, which, I mean, it, it can happen, but it's not very common, obviously. Okay. So I'll pick a Barker. So I'll probably play a weaker rotated team against Man United, so I'm hoping that they play a weaker team as well. So we'll look at the captain's armband back to Marquisio. And I might actually throw... Actually no, we've got a games in the next few days, so I won't really make much changes for that. But we'll just play with the first team just to see how they run, get a feel for it, if I do like the team that is. Um, and let's get right into this. Alright, so 
also the first match. Um, so really, I think our only issue might be on the left side, just because with Neymar gone, we have Delegu and other pacey people, and that might catch Mitch Steiner out, but honestly I think he's got the backup from Bazaar, he should be fine, but yeah, let's just see how we go. Um, if they have a strong lineup, I think we might be in for a challenge, but if they're doing a fairly rotated one, I think we should win comfortably. Um. Okay, so we, we can't just pace it down the wings. They've got a lot of pace on the wings with Semedo and Alba. I think generally our biggest issue this season will be managing to get good youngsters into filling that gap between older players declining but also giving the older players game time so they're not ticked off. Um, that really would be our biggest issue. But I think if we can just have some solid run of form and we can bag a few extra points, we won't have to worry about maybe missing a match or playing a bad team. I might stick with this formation, as I said before, throughout the whole season. Just depends if, obviously, Dabal is more effective in the game as Kerr. If he's not, two strike formation, because I know it's going to work with the hold-up play with Higuain. But we just have to make sure that we're a bit more clear from the kind of goal. Okay, so they've got a shocking goalkeeper. Okay, so no Messi. Got Alcacer instead. Everything's looking pretty solid there, apart from the goalkeeper. Um, Alcacer is still dangerous in front of goal. He's still a top-tier goalkeeper. We're going to play it possession and attacking. Just because I feel like... Playing too much on the counter attack might actually harm us, that's all. Leaves a bit exposed. And just as I say, we're going to need. Oh, I got exposed. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was that was lucky. Um, lucky that they made a meal of it. Oh, and that's a, exactly what I said. Shocking touch from Lich Steiner. I obviously touched nothing then. And that's a goal. Oh, wow. Okay. So is that an offside? Oh, he's just... gone in with the spear tackle. Yeah, but just as I'm saying, Lich Steiner has some mistakes in him. He goes and makes a meal of that touch. Honestly, if that was... If that was someone more clinical in goal, like Lewandowski, or if that was Champions League against Barker, then I would be fuming. But I mean, it's pre-season, so we can make those mistakes. But then again, it gives me a good feel that maybe... Which Steiner's place in the first team is running short. Obviously, for some reason, I've become a mysteriously better FIFA player, and Legendary's just not cutting it. I might play with sliders, but until that comes from winning games 5 0 consistently against top teams, I don't think I'll change it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be our biggest issue this match, just trying to... I think we might have to play it down the middle more. Um, I don't think we can just flog it down the wings. And that was, a, that was shocking for me. Totally misread that.
Probably should have taken that foul then. Would have had good luck with a free kick. So, if we can keep doing that all season, get that, get that lead up play and that nice little quick assist from Dybala, I think we should be fine. Um, I think if we're up against a better keeper, he might have got a hand to that. Um, but, it's still a goal, it's still in front, I'm happy. I think it's odd not to see PK in the lineup. Um, I know they're obviously rotating because it's preseason, but I would generally think they would have played maybe PK instead of, instead of MTD. Granted, MTD was Barcelona's best player last season by a mile, best defensively anyway. Oh. So, if we can keep scoring like this, um, I'm happy. It's a great goal. Um, thought I made a meal of it there, but yeah, lucky that I'm too didn't get to a different position. Uh, if we get ahead by a few more goals, um, if we're lucky enough for that, I might throw on some rotating players. I probably should have changed the bench actually, but yeah, just give them a run out against the top team, see how they go. Um, depending how Douglas Costa does this season, I might, if we do do a season two, I might end up just um, buying him, but that's got to be offside, surely. No, okay. Yeah, but as I was saying, um, I might look into buying Costa if he has a good run of form. I know he is an older player, like he's reaching the end, and when he loses his pace, I might chuck him into a cam position, make him a Ronaldinho type of playmaker, but... Yeah, I just have to see how I go. And uh, let's just keep working. Mm -hmm. But also, if we don't have, um, if you send, uh, sorry, Chaka off on loan, I might look into getting a top left winger. So, someone, I mean. There's not really many top left wingers around, hence Barcelona paying 150 million for Dembele. But maybe we were rumoured briefly with Alexis Sanchez since he's on the last year of his contract. Um, that is a possibility we could play with, return to Syria, just not with Udinese. But yeah, not really much going in that department. We're pretty well chucked full of strikers. And our defence is great, just ageing. Um, I can't see any reason for us to buy even any youth in our defence department. Maybe a centre-back, but I mean, we've got Caldara up on loan and we've just got so many young talents coming through that I can't really see us wasting money on okay, no space. And that was good. So, And honestly, I don't see Higuain declining a large amount this season. I might, I mean, he has a terrible run of form. Might see him drop to 88, but still, I mean, that's still a top striker. You can't complain. He doesn't really rely on his pace that much. Good little chip over in there. Yeah, he doesn't really rely on pace that much. And worst comes to worst, you can chuck him as a can. Move Dabala up when he improves even more. But yeah, I can't really see much of the squad changing this season. And that's hard. I mean, they haven't really been dangerous apart from the start. I don't think I'll change anything. Um, 
Yeah. I think if they had Messi on, it might be a bit of a different story, but then again, this formation as well, I can't see the merit of running it, unless you have a really strong winger, and, I mean, no offense to Dembele, but Messi's obviously miles ahead of him. But say if we did move to a two-strike formation, I might bring in another cam actually, just because, I mean, I could shift Pjanic to a cam, but that's some space. I might put Pjanic as a cam, maybe even Marquisio, it's just, I might need some more rotation there, because that was a like, shocking pass. Should have done a lot better there. Also, I think we're going to maybe have some trouble with depth and having to recall people from loan for the Champions League and the Cup. But, I mean, again, with older players, I might just be crazy, but I feel like they do get injured a lot more and the injuries are longer. That's just a little tinfoil hat conspiracy here, but I feel like that is the case. And probably should have played that more. Yeah, no, I just feel like they get injured more frequently and for longer. And, I mean, if, say, Barzagli and Chiellini both went out, we would have a lot of time in depth playing Lugani and Benatia. Like, that's still a solid Champions League back line to compete with most top six teams. It's just that then our depth is really bad apart from you or the poor people from loan. And I mean, that might be our downfall if we do get a few injuries. And we did make the Champions League final last year. I feel like we're comfortable enough to win that. Oh, that was terrible for me. I should have waited for the tackle to come in. Also with Dybala as a can, I think it's going to be hard to juggle playing time for the entire midfield, just as I complain about death. But say we were eliminated from the Champions League early or the Cup early, I think we would struggle for playing time for everyone. Especially like a new signing like the Twin, that's just my thought, that was a shocking pass. Um, we would struggle for playing time for some of them. And I think that would be our real issue. <sighs> Two of the crossfire in one match. Probably, oh no, it's worked. Oh, Jesus. I mean, Quadrado in game, he's just like Quadrado in real life. He'll have a bang average match, he'll score a goal in the 70th, 70th minute, and everyone forgets how bad he played that match. I mean, I don't hate Quadrado, but I feel like he's too inconsistent to be a starter for the team. And honestly, I feel like that maybe he's, it's a bit wasteful having a player who's nearing 30, who is very inconsistent, starting every match when we have spent a massive amount on new wingers in the form of Bernadeschi and Costa. I mean, Bernadeschi, he's five years younger, he's Italian, had a great run of form. I mean, it just seems wasteful to have him on the bench and have him come on for 15 minutes at the end of the match, and I mean, that was a shocking pass, but, I mean, it just seems wasteful, especially every time he's on the pitch, you see him give, him, give his all, he hasn't been playing terribly, he's scored some goals this season, I mean, yeah, it just seems a bit wasteful.
And I know some people might say Allegri is slow to integrate, but I mean, there's a difference between slow to integrate and just not playing them. I mean, you bought the clubs bought these players. They fit the formation. You should be at least trying to make an effort to give them that play time. And I know you guys might complain about me saying, oh geez, um, I'm just not going to throw any profanities because I don't want my video to skip 18 plus or anything like that. So yeah, just, just not to limit the videos, that's all. It's not going to cost us the game, but one more would have been nice. I mean, I can't really complain about the team this much. Quadrado was a bit average. Lichstein got exposed a little bit, but I mean, it's three 0 win. It's free money. I can't really complain too much. Otherwise, it was a pretty good day. Okay, I want to see you beat Atletico Madrid. Just as I'm saying that on Quadrado, we get a transfer offer. I might leave that, just because, I mean, I'm not completely opposed to selling him, but, I mean, it's not going to be too great if I sell someone who's been with the club for a long time without obviously consulting all of you guys first. I don't really see anyone who really interests me there. I mean, there's our boy, MVP, but, I mean, we do have some depth issues, we could bring back Ibrahimovic, I know a lot of people might not like that, but regardless he's a quality player to have there for a bit. Okay, I will have Alexis Sanchez in the shortlist, I feel like he's definitely an option, he hasn't got much left on his contract. I feel like if we did get him, we could get him pretty cheap compared to what his value usually is. Um, okay. I feel like we might, with PSG, they do like to splash some cash. So we could actually pick up a good 40, 50 million for him. So, I mean, that is a possibility. We will make a second team sheet. I'll probably cut out me making this, just so I don't bore you all with that. Alright guys, but there's the B team. Um, you'll notice I do have Haldes at right back. I just feel like I don't want to start with Garni's growth, but I don't want him to be a third rotation option CB. I feel like he would be very upset about that. I might get some emails. I'll see how Haldes holds up on the right back, but I feel like that's still a very strong side. I feel like we should comfortably win most matches with that. So let's switch it. I also don't have Chesney in the in between the sticks. I feel like we should give him a chance. Obviously, if he's not doing very well, I might bring back a say a youth player. Okay, I might throw on Costa at the end of the match as a sub just to keep him happy. So I make a deer up. Again, he's 30, I'll consider it, I'll consider it, but I don't really want to sell Kadira. I mean, he's played fantastically for the team. But, yes, I'll, I'll just give the promising section a look to see if there's anything that catches my eye that's quite realistic. Okay, nothing really that I would 
her mad fool. Um, Merit's always is fairly tall. He seems like a decent keeper. I'll keep my eyes on him. Which I might add him to the short list just so I don't forget. I'll add a scout to him as well. I mean, there's some great rotation options, say in Sensi. I wouldn't be opposed to a player like, I'm going to butcher this name, but Gurich. But the problem is with Premier League players, the wage feels just absurd and a lot of the time the game won't let them budge. And I'll just quickly say it. But the game won't let them budge and it's just I don't want to waste that money on the rotation option earning more than the other players in the squad. But let's play this match against United. I'm really feeling the green jerseys. I really a lot of people are going to complain about the new logo. I personally like it. A lot of people say it's like Jeep's ugly little brother. I like the logo. I know I'm wearing the old shirt. It's just that this is the shirt that I got customised for myself when I saw Juventus actually play live. So I'm going to be wearing this. I might get the new kit. I probably will get the new kit. But yeah, just not for now, that's all. Hopefully, United comes out with a really rotated lineup. Um, I would honestly prefer it. It would make the game a whole lot easier for us. Um, it would let me get some youth out there and subs if we can get a comfortable lead. But... And then they threw their last match against Chelsea. Then again, it's Chelsea that's still the top squad. Okay, so they've got Rashford and Lingard, so it should be a bit of a weaker side. Obviously not weak, but rotated. Still fantastic young players. Also, one thing that majorly bugs me is the lack of game phases in the Serie A. We'll have random Joe Blow from the championship with a full face scan and then we'll have a top player like Bernadeschi with the stock standard face and it's just I think it takes a lot of people out of the game I feel like that's why a lot of people play on PS4 so they can add those mod lists to it or a lot of people are actually switching to pairs just with player faces I mean personally I've thought about switching to pairs but I've been to the PS4 just for those option files because I couldn't stand not playing with proper kit. Oh, okay, so they're not going to be dangerous in front at all with Dian Lee. Um, maybe James Wilson I would have maybe worried about but backline looks strong. But not obviously their top squad but backline looks strong. They do have a weaker goalkeeper. But I can't see them being trouble at the front with Dian Lee. Um, we might be able to expose Carrick for his lack of pace. But then again, my midfield is not very fast as well. Um, same tactics as the last game, and they seem to work. We've got the same formation. Right straight up, we've got a mistake, but I lose possession. So guys, let me know what you think of Storaro. Does he have a place in the squad? in real life, obviously. Um, I mean, personally, I don't know he's Italian, and a lot of people love that for the squad, but I honestly would have preferred Lemano. And I feel like Lemano obviously had more... I feel like he had more talent, personally. I know he's not doing absolutely amazing tearing up the Premier League with Southampton, but I feel like he could have been a great depth option for us, and if we gave him some more time maybe a few easier games and he could really get comfortable I feel like he I feel like he, he does have more talent than Storaro I could be wrong but let me know about your decision that was I probably should have played that out for a while and there we go with the foul also guys what do you think of the Matuidi deal I think it's good I mean he's an absolutely quality DM um the only thing that irks me is that he is a bit older, but then again, I feel like if he gets that magic GG juice and he plays until he's 40, I mean, that's fine with me, but 
I feel like he's probably got another good few years left in him. He doesn't rely on his pace too much, which is great, especially with aging players. Because, I mean, that's, I think that's why Ibrahimovic has lasted as long as he has. I mean, he doesn't rely on his pace. And if players like, for example, Aubameyang, I feel like he won't last as long as, say, Ibrahimovic just because he's so reliant on his pace and I feel like that could really affect him in his later years. Just because a lot of the, I'm not saying Aubameyang isn't a top striker, I'm just, it's just I feel like he might have some issues in that, um, in that period where he's starting to lose his pace, he's not as quick, he's getting older and he has to really hone his technical skills a bit more. Okay, that was a shocking pass, that was completely my fault. Angled that terribly. Again, that was my fault. Just bad movement. I know a lot of you guys might be sticklers for, for making it realistic and having Mandzukic on the left wing. I'm just going to be honest guys, unless I boosted his pace to maybe 80 on the wing, where on FIFA where pace is so reliant, that shadow is shocking. I hate the stadiums with shadows. Very hard to see from my angle with the players. But, back onto my tangent with Mandzukic, I feel like unless he had around 80 pace, I know that sounds very pace reliant, but I feel like he wouldn't be as useful as he is in real life on the left wing, and I feel like he would be better used as a second grade striker for the squad. I mean, it's not, it's not that I don't like him as a player, I think he's a fantastic player, he's a great addition to the team. Even when he is getting older, he's doing fantastic for the team, but I cannot see him being as useful for the squad in real life, in game, as a left winger. I know people are saying it's possible to have a left winger that is a bit slower, but realistically, it is FIFA. Pace, it, most players are very pace reliant, especially wingers in this game. You don't really have many slow wingers. Especially after the couple patches that have come in. Okay, that's a bit. Okay. Especially after the first patch where it changed a lot of the gameplay, so it does feel a lot like FIFA 17, and I feel like a lot of people might get upset about that because I feel like that before the first patch it lowered the skill gap a lot, especially online modes. But I think offline it doesn't really change much. Okay, that's... I might have called that a fair, but... I'll let that slide, I guess. Okay. So he'll call that, but he won't call the other one. Okay. I've really underestimated this United side. Um, they're very solid in defense. Okay, is that an offside maybe? I thought I was on. Oh, it's a free kick. Okay, um, just warning, I'm shocking at free kicks. I don't usually score them. I was alright in 16 whenever I could score them, but 17 I was pretty average. That's just... Okay. I was going for top right. That says enough. Don't expect any amazing Roberto Carlos-esque free kicks this year. I know you guys might say practice them in the arena. I just feel like it is a bit inconsistent in this FIFA. I mean, I can nail that free kick in the arena and then as soon as it gets into the game. Probably should have shot first time. Upside, anyway. 
yeah, I feel like free kicks are very inconsistent. Um, that just might be me, little tin hat boil again. But I feel like they are very inconsistent. I feel like they do change in games. I didn't say Shark his name wrong. Shark? Shark? Oh wow, I've made a meal of that. Okay, I thought it was kind of like Jaka from Arsenal. I have to hear the commentator say that name again. But that's very embarrassing. Okay, that's half time. I feel like we were pretty. I feel like we had the ball more. But I feel like we weren't making anything decent out of the possession. Um, just have a look. Yeah, no, we, we're dominating in possession and pass accuracy as well. It's just. I mean, our shots aren't from terrible spots. I mean, they're mostly around the edge of the box just because I'm not able to get in there. It's a. It's a, it's a hard formation to play against. I mean, especially with us playing the same formation. I mean, they're not really outclassing us just because obviously we're dominating in possession, but. Okay. That's, we're dominating in possession. I mean, I'd, I'd prefer a win, but. I mean, it's a draw. I don't mind. I feel like an attacking, more attacking minded Cam would, would have been better for this match. But. I mean, Sturaro, he hasn't done anything really wrong, it's just, I would play him more as a boxer box or more of a DM, just because, apart from Dybala, we don't really have a natural cam, I mean, Marquisio can do the job quite well, Pjanic can fill that role, but he's more of a box box midfielder, but, okay, that was absolutely messy, just now. I feel like we don't really have a natural cam. I mean, we could bring in a... That's the problem as well. We've got so many DM, box-to-box -box type midfielders that bringing in another midfielder would really mess with play time for the others. And I feel like that would be an issue. Especially trying to bring in a, uh, a mid-table star player. So, someone like Lanzini would be a fantastic cam for the squad. I think he'd fit the squad well. In FIFA terms, that is. But, I would not... Yeah, I'm gonna bring him in. I think really see it spread. Play time. Go for that. That's fantastic. I, I'll be honest, I was going for Manzukic, but I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Good, yeah. Set the kick the wrong way. Can't complain. The one gripe. I do have with Bernadeschi is I feel like they undervalue his pace in FIFA and I know it's a balancing thing a lot of the time oh, I probably should have out here. but I feel like they undervalue his pace a bit I didn't really play with his pace much I think I boosted it by I think one point each way because I didn't want to make it unbalanced but I feel like he is a bit undervalued I might bring on some subs around 70th minute, um, just so they can get ratings for the match and I can actually get a decent feel for them. Um, if, we, if they equalise, I might not bring on subs, depending on what type of subs they are. Okay, that was a terrible tackle. Okay, that was more of a pass than a shot, but I mean, I'm not going to pass. I never thought I'd see the day where Rashford bodied or powered as, but here we are. We should power onto that more than rather than why not throw it. Uh, I'll, I'll give it to him, but... Okay. Oh, no, he's going to be outpaced, I think. Not very good, I've got the entire side exposed now. Okay. Okay. 
Pogba. Okay, okay. Now, now we might have some issues. Um, so moving him into the DM spot. I mean, I wouldn't call Pogba a cam, but I feel like he can create some decent chances from there. Uh, next ball out, I'll probably bring in some subs then. Can't really complain about how it is. It's a right back. Um, he's doing well. That was beautifully threaded. Okay, that was a bad touch. Bring it in. Okay. Probably should have played that all or stabilised it with another touch, but you know, really moved it from there, so you nonetheless. Okay. I feel like that will help us on the right back as well. How it does being a bit taller as well, catches those crosses, makes up for his lack of pace. I probably should have called the subs last out. They won't really be much of a run out, that's all. A dangerous pass. Okay. I'm surprised that they didn't bring on, say, Lukaku or Ibrahimovic. Um, I'm not sure if either one of those is injured, but, I mean, I thought they would have brought them on. Obviously not pushing too hard for the win, giving the youth more of a run out. Good turn. Put that more into the midfield. Okay, he's got no options. Okay, that was completely my fault. Tried to make too much of it. Okay, that, that could have that could have been issues. Okay, tight space. Try to play it out. Maybe we can make something of this. Play it out wide. See what we can make from this. Maybe we might be able to squeeze one more. Okay. I thought that was going to give me the free kick, that's why I belted it, um, probably shouldn't have, but probably should have had more control of that, yeah, but I thought that was going to give me the free kick, that's why I belted it, guys, and that's offside, I love it, very often. Hey guys, I, I'm probably butchering Piazza's name. Um, I know I'm butchering it. Um, let me know how to say his name in the comments. I'll be honest, I haven't seen much, I haven't seen him play much. I mean, I gave him a watch before he got injured, but I haven't really talked to anyone about him, so I don't really know the pronunciation for that one. Okay. So, okay, how it is had a decent match rating. Yeah, I, I was pretty happy with him out there. Um, I think that's something we can do going forward into the season, definitely. Okay, so our group's going to be... We're obviously topping our group. But... Yeah, I mean, even if we lost next match, we'd still be topping our group, no matter what. Um, if I had a few more younger players, I might have started them all next match. But... Yeah, no, at the moment, I don't really have any. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to sub Costa. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. I'm sure he'll survive, though. Okay, um... I might go into some negotiations with Arsenal. I'll see if Weng is ready to let him go. One thing that bugs me is... that there is no voice 
you know, voices for this, I wouldn't actually be upset if, say, they didn't actually have the manager's real voices, just voices. I feel like it, it is a bit frustrating just, just having this. I might try to lowball him. I think 50, last year of his contract. Let's see if he walks out. I feel like he's going to storm out, do the whole hand wave thing. Probably shouldn't have lowballed. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not giving up my entire transfer budget. Maybe... Oh, he really wants that... That 432 quid. About 60. Let's see what he says. What? That's gonna bug me, seeing that 432 on the end. I prefer round numbers for this, but yeah, no, that's 100% going to bug me. Okay. Maybe 67? 67 and a half? I feel like he's going to storm that very soon. Okay. <sighs> okay. So they've stalled it. So that's going to be a bit frustrating. Okay, we'll move on to the next match. And just for the sake of episode length, I might just sim this one. Oh, okay, they want at least 72. I feel like I can kind of let that wait until next episode. But, okay, we've just got the same old, same old here. I will sim this one. Just because we're very comfortable in the cup, it doesn't matter if we lose. Um, I'm not going to skip it. Okay, straight off the bat, Quadrado. I mean, just after I've talked so much smack about him, he goes and pulls two goals. Al Halil has been doing very good. Both of these Saudi Arabian teams have been doing fantastic in this preseason. I don't know if it's team playing with rotator squads and then playing with their best, but nevertheless, they're still beating top teams from the Premier League. Okay. I mean, 3-0. I can't complain. Simming against Chelsea on neutral ground. It's definitely good for... Okay, we're playing against... Uh, okay, they've re retracted it. No biggie. I'm not letting Manzukic go. 100% no. And... I mean... I'll negotiate. I'll negotiate. But I wouldn't be willing to let year ago, unless it's for an absurd amount. Oh, they haven't updated the managers. Okay. You know, as I said, I'm not letting Kadira go unless it's an absurd amount. I would say... 55. And I'll add a sell-on clause. I'll make it really low, say 3%. I, mean, I can't see them biting at that. Bayern's got a stacked midfield. He's on. He's hit 30. He is German, but I, I can't see them realistically doing that. Yeah, I mean that's no problem. I'll keep Kadira. Um, that's no no skin off my head. Guys, I think I'm just gonna sim this match with the B team, just because I feel like they can come from. Oh, okay. Lazio is going to be a bit weaker on the wing. Okay, Asamoah wants a game. I think I can fit Asamoah into this. Um, I'll keep Howard as on that right wing. And Otto and Asamoah. Um, we've got decent subs as well. I can see this, I can see this team quite comfortably beating the Saudi Arabian team. Um, yeah, no, I can't see that. I can't see us realistically losing. Um, still not too much going on in transfers. But that's going to be interesting. Lazio is quite weak on the sides now. 
you might be able to exploit that. I know I said I'm not going to be upset, but I hope we do win this. The extra funds are not going to hurt, honestly. I know we're not moving for much in the transfer, but those extra few million... Okay, man, Super, Super Mario gets it. Okay, that's settled. Okay, that's a solid win. Guys, I won't really be seeing many matches once it gets into the actual season. It's just that it's pre-season. I don't want to make this episode extremely long. It's going to be a bit longer, obviously. But we'll do the training again. But yeah, no, I don't want to make this episode really long. And if I'm honest, these matches just don't matter. I mean, it's good to test out the squad, but I feel like we've got a feel for it. Okay, we can come back to Alexis Sanchez next episode. He's not he's not gone, gone. It's no problem. I'll just save now. But I honestly feel like we Sanchez is still an option. They're not going to just say no, and if not, we can get him on a free. I mean, we can pay we can pay 70 million now or wait six months and bring him in for free next season. I mean if if Arsenal wants to play hardball on that, we'll just take them for free instead. Okay, this is a much stronger. They bought Mertens. Okay, Napoli is going to be in a bit of a tough spot this season. From memory, they've only got Milic as their main striker. Still a quality striker, just it's not Mertens. I'm very surprised by that result. I did not think Blitz Steiner was going to score the win goal, obviously, but again, I'll take the free money. Okay, 5 million. Ford's obviously very happy with us winning. I'll bring it for. Okay, we've got the Super Copa with Lazio. That'll be good to really feel out how their team is. one more training. I'll give the transfers one more look, and then we'll wrap up the episode, guys. Um, I think I'm going to add Pjarka. I'm butchering his name. I know it. Don't play me in the comments. Just let me know how it's said. Um, let's go to this squad. I've gone right past it. Okay. We've got so many goals. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we can bring back, bring back Rincon for some depth. Okay, where about Spinazzola as well. I'll probably play him as left. I'll probably play him as a left wing back. I just, I wouldn't see his value on the left midfield side. That's all. I'm going to add him to the loan list. If a good team comes in for him, say maybe a Prem team, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a look, but, yeah, okay, Salvio to Rover, okay, I'll just give a quick look and see what we're up against, ratings here, okay, I, I think he'll probably be late 70s, 80s maybe rating, can't really remember him, okay, Cremont, Okay, that's surprising. I think Bologna is going to probably play him as more of a right mid just because of the AI. But that can see them rack up quite a few goals this season. I mean, I know he's not fantastic. He's about late 80s, oh, sorry, not late 80s, late 70s in rating, but it's still something. Okay, that's surprising. Considering they've got Kalinic and Andre Silva. But... Okay, I feel like he could really cause us some issues, and I do not want an ex Juventus player to score a free kick against us. Okay, that's a bit odd. One front, okay. So, Napoli is strengthening the defense. Okay, 
yeah, that's no big deal. Um, not much else going on. So next episode will be Super Copper and the season, and let me know what you think about transfers and maybe some realistic ones that I can really go for. Um, I'll have a new list of realistic ones, or I'll have a new short list, all that stuff next episode. But till then, guys. Thank you for watching the video and let's get ready for, for uh, episode 2.